Hi there, it's Jenna from McGuire, and I've got a fun little video for you today in celebration of Simon Says Stamps, um, Stamp Timber. It's a big event they're doing this month, and I'm going to show you here how to do metallic rub-ons and alcohol inks. So here is the card that I'm doing. It's got lots of texture and shine to it. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but I'll be using metallic background or metallic rub-ons on that background piece and alcohol inks on the frame. So let's start with the metallic rub-ons. I've got this background. This is my all-time favorite background stamp right now. It's from Hero Arts in basic gray. And I'm inking it up with Versamark ink, just a sticky clear ink, and pressing a piece of dark cardstock onto it. I think metallic rub-ons look best on dark cardstock, so that's why I picked this dark teal color. Now I've got my clear embossing powder, and I'm just going to shake it on here. I'm kind of all thumbs for some reason putting this powder on. But I'm just putting some powder on and tap it off, and I will heat emboss this. Now you could use a colored embossing powder for this, but the clear embossing will trap that dark teal color underneath it so that when we put the metallic rub-ons over it, it will resist it and show the dark teal through. So that's why I'm using the clear, so I can see that dark teal through it. So these are metallic rub-ons. They come in a bunch of different kinds. These are the two that I'm going to be using for this video here. I'll link to them in my blog. Now you can use your fingers to apply these, and I usually do, but I wanted to show you, you can also use these sponge daubers from Sukuneko and you just put it into the um, into the metallic rub-on which is like a really really thick lipstick and just smear it around and I'm putting it on super heavy here so I'm covering it completely with the light silver color and now I'm going to go in with like a darker pewter color and add just some areas of color on top of it just so I can get a little variation and it's not all solid um, solid silver so you can keep applying more and more colors. You could do like a rainbow of colors. There are also some metallic rub-ons that are actually not metallic, they're more of a luster. So there are a lot of great options for this. But I'm putting it on super thick here. Now when I'm done, uh, I will go back and buff all this off. You could buff in between each step, but I actually like to just go put a ton on at once and then buff it, and that seems to work great for me. And I'm adding a little bit of teal metallic rub-on in here too. Sorry, I kind of went off the screen here. I'll come back in in a second. There we go. So I've got this dry cloth. It's just an old napkin, and I'm just buffing it like crazy. As much as I can rub off, uh, I, I try to get off here, and it makes the embossed pattern pop out, and it looks like a faux metallic background. Now, you could seal this with either like a hairspray or a fixative, but I just leave it as is. So you can see that background strip there, and I'll come back to it in a second, but I want to show you how to do this frame. I love metal embellishments, especially these ideology embellishments from Tim Holtz, but I often like to have color on my projects. So I wanted to show you how you can add color to these. I'm using alcohol inks with a piece of felt on my blending tool. So there's felt on that um, tool there. And I'm pressing some of the stream, which is like a dark pool color, onto the felt, just a few squirts. There's no science behind this. And this is the new snow cap mixative from Ranger. And it's an alcohol ink that's pure white, and it is fabulous. This is a great um, key element to getting color on these metal embellishments. So I just did like an X of the white. I wanted a lot of it. Now I'm going to go just a, do a little dab of this silver mixative. Now if it's a mixative, you want to make sure you shake them real well first. So I just did little dabs. I usually put um, blending solution on it, but I want this to stay really vibrant, so I'm just skipping the blending solution step. Now you'll see I put my piece of metal on a post-it note so I could keep my fingers out of this, so it's just holding it in place. And now I'm just pouncing around here to get like a marbly look to this. Um, you could keep going over this a million times, you could wipe it clean with some blending solution or alcohol if you want to, but I'm just go, uh, going through and putting as much color as I want on here. So I'm, I like to also to let some of the dark show through. Now here's a real quick tip, I'll show you what the metal looks like in a minute, but I keep these alcohol swabs from the pharmacy on hand. It's a great way to clean anything off your craft sheet. So I just clean it up like this and then wipe away with a baby wipe and you have a clean surface. And those little alcohol swabs are really inexpensive. So now that this has dried, I'm going to put some dry adhesive on the back. I'm just putting a little bit just to hold it in place and I'm adding this stamped greeting, that's a Hero Art stamp, behind it. And you'll see me cut around it. Now on this frame, I just let it dry and leave it as is. You could put a coating over it, maybe glossy accents or something, but I just leave it as is. Um, and I love that, that mixing that white um, mixative in with the colored alcohol inks allows you to get this great color on these metal embellishments. So now I'm adding some pearls to cover up those holes instead of using brads. 
So I will show you how I adhere that on here in a second, but I also wanted to show you that I stamped that same background that I used earlier with Broken chi China Distress Ink on the background of this pool note card. These note cards are new color from Hero Arts. Um, there's three shades of pool in the pack, and I just absolutely love the colors. So I'll peel it off, and now my background matches that metallic rub-on piece we did earlier. So I'm just going to cut this to a little point here, to a little V. Um, no science behind it. I don't measure it. I just kind of eyeball it, and I'll glue that down. I'm going to use a bunch of foam um, adhesive for this. I like the thick um, foam dots and the thin ones, just for variation. But since that embellishment's pretty um, heavy, I'm just doing thin foam dots here. And I'm using quite a few so that's nice and secure. So I've added that to the card. Now I want to add this piece here, put some good glue behind it. Now you have a few options. You could use this matte studio um, media, multi-medium from Ranger. It's one of Claudine Helmus products. Um, just to add some to the back here. Or you could use glossy accents. Glossy accents would hold really well here too. So I've just put it in place. And now I'm going to put something heavy on it to make sure it stays where it needs to be. I'll just put a little um, acrylic mount on here. So there you have it, some fun new products here. Uh, if you want to check these out, please visit Simon Says Stamp. Thanks for watching.